Hello, my friends, and happy Thanksgiving. Today, I'm gonna make something that must, I repeat, must be on your Thanksgiving table, my loaded skillet cornbread with charred poblano and lime butter. I know the holidays can be a stressful time. How big of a turkey should I get? To brine or not to brine? And where to put that drunk uncle on the seating chart so he causes minimum damage? But listen, for me, Thanksgiving is all about the side dishes, baby. Sweet potato pie, pumpkin pie, green bean casserole, and cornbread. Just thinking about that today makes me happy that I'm wearing my stretchy pants. I'm not a baker, everybody knows that. So if I can make this, so can you. So let's get down to business. And hey, how about you spread that holiday cheer and click that subscribe button. I have new cooking videos every two weeks and I'd love for you to be a part of it. So to start, I'm preheating the oven at 375 degrees with a 12 inch cast iron pan inside the oven while it's heating. Now let's talk about the dry team for our cornbread. In the bowl, I have one and a quarter cups of coarsely ground cornmeal. Now this is where my recipe differs from other ones out there. I like a coarse grind, the same kind of grind I would use for polenta because I think it just adds a little bit of a crunch, some texture to my cornbread. To that, add three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. Next, three tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of kosher salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Those will be our leavening agents that interact with the buttermilk later on in the oven that create that baking voodoo. Now let's put that bowl on the side and talk about the wet team. In a bowl, I have two eggs, lightly beaten. Next, add one cup of buttermilk. Now, I love buttermilk for that signature tang. And the way it's made is by taking regular old cow's milk and infusing it with a bacteria. Now, the same bacteria you would use to make yogurt, and that's why it has that sour flavor, and that's also why the texture is a little thicker than regular milk. Next, add one third of a cup of whole milk. No skim milk, please. Next, I have eight tablespoons of melted butter, but I'm saving one tablespoon for later. Whisk all the ingredients up, and carefully add the wet ingredients to the dry. Combine everything until it just comes together. The next ingredients are what make this skillet cornbread loaded. I have one can of unsalted corn kernels. Make sure it's unsalted so you control the amount of salt in the dish. And to make life easier, I have one Mexican canned green chili, and I diced it up into a fine dice. And last but not least, I have half a pound of sharp cheddar cheese shredded. Now all we have to do is incorporate all these yummy ingredients and get this bad boy into the oven. I'd say that looks good. Now I have to grab that skillet from that hot oven and get this mixture in there. All right, I have one more tablespoon of melted butter. I'm gonna put that in the hot pan. It's gonna spit and get angry a little bit, but let's just love soaking into that cast iron pan. And then the advantage of putting this in the oven and letting it preheat while the oven's going also, is as soon as I put this batter in here, it's gonna start cooking and getting a nice crust on the bottom of our cornbread. And that's what I love. I live for that crunchy crust on the bottom of the cornbread. And if you look here right now, you can see it's bubbling up and it's already starting the cooking process. Now this guy goes back in the oven for about 25 minutes until a toothpick comes out clean and make sure it's still not wobbly in the middle when you shake it. Now when that cornbread comes out of the oven, you could just slather on some sweet cream butter and eat it as is. But hey, this is Thanksgiving. We gotta go big or go home. That's why this gives us a great opportunity to make our charred poblano and lime butter. Now the cornbread's out of the oven. I've resisted every urge in my body to dive in. I've waited 25 minutes for it to cool down a little bit. Now let's grab a piece. That piece looks perfect. And let's not forget about our poblano butter. Smear it all over my warm cornbread and you know it's just gonna melt and get in every nook and cranny in there. So moist, crunchy from the corn, a little bit of that heat from the poblano butter, and all that cheese is really adding a nice gooey sharpness. There is nothing better than hot cornbread out of the oven. Unless, of course, it's loaded with all the fixings. So if you decide to make this recipe, and I strongly encourage you to, leave a comment below or let me know how you like to cook your cornbread. And stay tuned in a couple of weeks, I'll have another holiday recipe coming at you. Happy holidays, gobble gobble.